Hi all. In this small video, I will be just explaining and the optical parametric oscillator. So remember, this optical parametric oscillator is depending upon difference frequency generation. So uh, difference frequency generation would happen if you have uh, a crystal with the second order polarizability, the second order uh, susceptibility. Then uh, if you insert uh, two source, two free sources. Omega one and Omega two. Then it is possible to generate enter frequency depending upon the phase matching condition. We'll get Omega one minus Omega two. Okay. Now, what would be the uh, the strength of this Omega one minus Omega two? So the, the polarization term, the P of omega 1 minus omega 2, uh, we can show that it is proportional to E1, E2 star, where E1, E2 are the, the amplitudes of uh, the frequency omega 1 and omega 2 respectively. Okay, now uh, hereafter we can uh, just put uh, this omega 1 as uh, the pump frequency. and omega to a signal frequency. And this is called the idler frequency. So the pump frequency I'll be denoted by symbol omega P, signal omega S and idler omega I. Okay, so in order to generate omega I frequency, the corresponding and the polarization term is proportional to E1, sorry, uh, EP, and es star now uh, if you keep this uh, nonlinear crystal within a cavity and suppose this cavity uh, reflects this uh, idler frequency so if this cavity uh, reflects with uh, idler frequency, then idler frequency and pump frequency will combine again. Then what will you get? So if pump and idler frequencies combined and produce difference frequency generation, what would be the, the resultant frequency? Then would be equal to omega P minus omega I. Now, omega P minus, what would be the omega I? Omega is omega P minus omega S. Okay, the idler frequency is omega one minus omega two. It, it can also be written as omega P, the pump frequency minus the, the signal frequency. So this would be give omega s so that means the pump in the pump and idler combined and if it is undergoing difference frequency generation then it produce the signal frequency omega s okay then what is the probability or what will be the amplitude of that omega s so we can check about uh, uh, the polarization term so the p of omega p minus omega i we can check so that would be proportional to so better we can use some other color. P of omega S, that is P of omega P minus omega I, that would be proportional to E P, E I star. Now E P, E I star at the idle frequency, the idle frequency is proportional to EP times E star. Okay, there is an I missing here. So P of omega I is uh, the idle frequency amplitude is proportional to EP times E S star. So that means it is proportional to EP square E S. So that means finally uh, the 
the signal frequency strength would be proportional to EP square. Okay, there is an ES also. So the signal frequency term proportional to EP square times ES. That is by using uh, the energy of pump frequency, the pump signal, uh, the pump frequency, we can uh, amplify the strength of the signal. Okay, so that is the implication. So that is the strength of signal frequency can be amplified using energy of pump. Okay, so with the help of this uh, difference frequency generation. Okay, so using difference frequency generation, uh, we can amplify the weak signal by using the energy of uh, the strong signal, the pump signal. So this uh, kind of amplification is called uh, the optical parametric amplification. So it is known as the optical parametric amplification. And this process is known as the, the optical parametric oscillator. Okay, so so finally uh, here we'll get uh, uh, the idle frequency and as well as you will you'll also get the signal frequency as the output, the omega s. Okay, so by just using uh, the second order on nonlinear process, we can amplify a particular signal you can amplify the signal that you want. And here, this, uh, uh, the idle frequency is an unwanted signal for us. This is unwanted, so we are not required for us, but anyhow, that would be present. So uh, what we'll do is uh, we'll use this, uh, uh, the mirror, okay, these are partially silvered mirror. So we'll uh, make sure that uh, this idle frequency, uh, the maximum idle frequency would be reflected back maximum idle frequency would be reflected back to the uh, the nonlinear nonlinear crystal okay so that way we can design then uh, what we can do is this uh, uh, the uh, idle frequency uh, would resonate resonate inside and we can generate more signal frequencies okay uh, so that's all about uh, the optical parametric oscillation or optical parametric amplification Okay, so I will repeat once again. So if you have two frequencies, uh, then by combining these two frequencies, we can produce its different frequency, different frequency generation. Now, uh, the, the output of uh, different frequency generation uh, can combine with uh, one of these frequency or higher frequency to generate the lower frequency. Okay, so um, uh, here we are using the technical term pump signal iter. So the pump and signal are the original frequencies. So that is that producing the idle frequency, the idle pre frequency will come back to the uh, the uh, uh, to the uh, the nonlinear crystal again, and from which uh, the idle frequency and the pump frequency combined to uh, produce the signal frequency through the process called the difference frequency generation. So the finally, if that is the case then uh, the newly produced signal frequency to, through this uh, nonlinear process uh, will have uh, the, uh, the strength proportional to the square of the amplitude of the, the pump field. So that means you can uh, increase the energy of signal frequency by increasing uh, the amplitude of the pump frequency. Okay, so that means we are increasing the strength of the signal frequency by using the energy of the pump signal. So that is uh, just simply, we can say that the amplification.
we are uh, amplifying one particular signal using from uh, some other external source energy of some external source so this is again an amplification but it is an optical amplification and more correctly it's called the optical parametric amplification okay so that's all about uh, the second order nonlinear processes so in the next class onwards we'll be discussing about the third order nonlinear process okay bye